Hello everyone and welcome back to this Next.js and Strapi tutorial series. In the previous video, we saw how to uh, add pagination to our get jobs uh, function, which is a very important function because whenever the user lands on the website for the first time, this function is called by uh, get static props to populate the jobs that are going to be uh, displayed to that user. Okay, so that's a very, very important function here. But um, despite um, beside listing the jobs we also want to give the ability to the user to filter based on specific uh, criteria and uh, um, so he can drill down to the, the kind of jobs that he's interested in for example he may be interested in jobs that are uh, remote only he doesn't care about any other jobs besides the jobs that are remote jobs so we want to give the ability to the user to filter those jobs uh, it may be featured uh, job for whatever reason a, a job could be featured and we want to give the user the ability to filter those jobs uh, same similarly with the full-time is if it's a full-time job or part-time job so uh, over the, if, uh, in this video and uh, over the next couple of videos we're going to start building um, the forms okay the, the data that uh, are, are needed by, by our forms uh, and the first thing the first out of this uh, in this video is the boolean search so this is the boolean okay so toggle left uh, right uh, uh, true or false so let's see how to uh, implement this uh, in our code well we're going to need a new function for this because this is a uh, get jobs okay so far these are all getters 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 so we're going to have to create another one called search search jobs and uh, that function is going to get um, as input uh, a query parameter that we're gonna um, uh, pass in um, to Strapi to, to filter by okay so first of all let me show you once again where that function is needed um, if I go to our pages um, and I go to the form actually forms here or even here to the okay I think here to sort form or just the jobs page sidebar i think here it's not needed but if i go to ui i think it's there jobs page very good mm. uh, ui let me see data source no actually not it's in the um uh, api layer search jobs exactly that's where we need it okay so basically um every time uh, a request is sent from the front end we um, forward that request to the a to the api endpoint which is search jobs which are, we have already created if you follow the content for tutorial like i said i'm not going to go through all of these again but that's that's exactly where we need we need that we, we consume that um, function the search jobs function it basically takes um the request um that is posted by the um, submit button okay and we have two forms right so we have one form the search jobs form and the sidebar form here so two states one state for the sidebar and one state for the search okay and we just simply pass that down we create a query out of these um, forms that are submitted and we call the function the, the search jobs function with that um, uh, query okay so what we want to do now is to create that function so let's go back here to jobs okay and let's start uh, creating the query let's create here const strapy query equals to and here i'm going to do it a bit differently because um this function is going to be um this query is going to be a bit more dynamic than the ones that we have created so far and i'm going to explain what i mean by dynamics shortly so populate obviously we want the company every time we search for a job we want the company we want the logo of the company who posted that job as well like we saw earlier we want the skill stacks that's also useful all right so that's the main thing that we need to populate and then in terms of filters we want to add it as empty for now okay and then only um based on the, the values that are coming from the query we want to add some more uh, filters to, to add the actual filter so here let's add the boolean 
uh, query filters. All right, so if query dot uh, remote okay uh, only, what do we want to do? Well, it's very simple. We want to add um, something here. We want to say strappy query and then filters and then uh, remote okay remote okay equals well very simple equals true right very simple and we do the same for features feature jobs only so feature jobs only okay so feature jobs equal true very good all right so these are equality queries here it looks the same very good. Now let's see here. Let's test this in our test trappy. Okay, so let's call the function. Let me comment this out. Let's clone it and then search. Oops, search jobs. All right, so now let's pass in um, featured only to true as our filter and Remove all this and let's see. Okay, so if I click here, I see nothing is returned. Actually, I think there's a problem with our query, most likely. So let's see what we did wrong. All right, all right. Uh, okay, there's something wrong. Search jobs. Remote okay. Feature job filters. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I'm not even calling. I'm not even making the call to Strapi. That's why it's not returning anything. All right, so let's let's make the call. Call Strapi. Um, Strapi. Like this. Strapi query. Uh, STR. Maybe actually capitalize this just to make things. Strapi query. API. Oops. Okay. Same thing here. STR. Very good. Now I call our good friend the stringifier. And I just pass in this traffic query and encode it value to true. Okay. Very good. Now obviously we need to make a call to strapy, so I'm gonna just copy what I have here. I'm gonna Test it here so don't waste your time. All right, so now let's try that again. Bingo, we have all the jobs that are featured jobs only. Okay, and out of the, the jobs that we have in the database, how many of them are featured jobs? Uh, so now, if we try a different query um, with only the remote okay, remote uh, okay, only the true, you see how many. Do we get oh that's another thing five also so remote okay to true so let's go and change uh the, the data in the database and see um if we have a, a change in number so for example here we have five jobs it looks like five of them we have six jobs it looks like five of them five of them are remote okay so let's see if we can change one of them to say false to remote okay or maybe feature jobs let's put this one to yeah remote okay let's put down one to force that's brilliant and let's save and see if now we can have only four that match our query exactly right we only have four left okay so let's do another one okay this one is already false uh, actually let's put this one feature jobs to false so you can also get and let's revert the query that we had earlier. Featured. Okay, remember earlier it was five as well. So now we should say four also. Okay. Very good. All right, so that's it. We have our first filter um, to filter like this. So that function uh, is going to be useful uh, for this two filters here that we have here all right but obviously as you can see one thing that's very important to notice about application is that um, these filters talk in 
in, 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 in like this function is not an isolate function um it does the filter by remote okay and they're not talking to one another right so we want to combine the search the search what whatever we have here like this with whatever it's in the sidebar we see they're, they're able to communicate right so it means it tells us that whatever we have in the search uh, function in the search jobs everything should be added here like this um as kind of a sub query right and not in a separate function all right so that's what we're going to do in the sub in the, in the subsequent videos in the next video the next thing that we're going to look at is how to add a range search so to be able to search for jobs uh, that match a particular salary range so thank you for watching this one and i see you in the next video ciao